Uh, could you repeat the motion and second again, please? You want us to repeat it? The motion and second, just so we have that. Unless... I seconded, Chris. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Approved without dissent. So, that working? Not doing what you wanted to? Well, it's, it's uh, glitching, but other than that, it's working okay. 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 Yeah. 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 So, um, Chief Bank, I understand you have 16 other engagements you need to get to, too. But I'm, I'm here. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. But in, in, because you would need to move on, we'd like to take you out of order and beat you up right away. This is you can move on from there. I feel important when you guys do that. I'm going to your head. But can you come up here? So maybe we would. Yeah, why don't you look? Because that's something we're going to do. It was fine back then. I'm not hot seat. I didn't hear every word. Did you get my email? I did. I'm not going to ignore it. All right. Let's just try it. I got it. Yeah. I thought I had to get myself up off the ground about an hour ago. So Lee's going to talk about uh, fire trucks and the operating budget, but the big discussion is fire trucks. Uh, actually, we are just going to talk about the operating budget. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> those of you that have been here on the budget committee, it's the same this year, pretty much as it was seven, eight years ago. There are a few modifications. Uh, Eric added siphon uh, up on the siphons across the board for the whole town. I think yep. you said so. That, that's uh, only bigger change that I know on the operating budget. Yeah. I think we did adjust fuel a little bit too, maybe. Yeah. At least we looked at it anyway. But last year, they took fuel down and then fuel went up through the roof. So yeah. I decided last year wasn't a good year that I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but I think we did. You probably just added it back to what it was before. Yeah, I'll have to look. But yeah, I'll make a note to confirm that. But yeah, we, we did talk about it. So why are the stipends being cut for the fire? The reason I have it's one last captain. One last captain. So fewer people getting paid a little bit more. Or at least at that level. Right. But overall, yeah. Well, we did keep the um the, the regular wages flat at the fifteen dollars an hour. Those were increased uh probably a year ago to um you know stay ahead of the minimum wage. And right now we're we're you know, I guess comfortable with that level. Um, fifteen seems to be reasonable. Um, but um, I wouldn't expect it to stay there for too much longer. But. Now, still the fuel line is. Helps study, Eric. Is that what you have to convey? Yeah. Uh, I want to look at that. Um, maybe it changed last year. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, impromptu here. <laughs> like yeah, we're going down to the budget. We just have actuals things. for the year before. Okay, so I'll check the budget and see what happened with it, but I'll also look at actuals this year and see if we're on target. Uh, right. So I will confirm that. Or maybe you're almost on target, who knows? But the budget for this year is two grand, and you got it budgeted for two grand for next year as well. Okay. When you're at 680, Well, it's not too bad, but yeah, it's a lump sum payment usually, and that's what gets us. Yeah, they, they um, send a bill when they feel like that. They're not very consistent. <laughs> Are they? We may get it in August. For the prior year, yeah. Who is that? Who is that? It sounds like a carry forward. You can't convince them. I just had to do it quarterly myself, but I know we had this problem for a long time. Yeah. Hey, uh, one quick Pam, is our um is our image on your screen flashing green and it is, black? it's awful. <laughs> Is the audio okay, Elise? Yes, I can hear you all, definitely. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to turn our camera off, uh, if you don't mind, Pam.
that's fine because it is is it doing that for you as well it is yeah so okay. i think we're going to that one little piece we can still see you so okay <laughs> okay uh, that's, that's, so that's actually not that I don't want to see you all, but that is better. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So, is there what else is? Are there any other significant changes in the the year, year over year? I mean, I looked at it. But it was I don't. I don't think so. Um, This is uh, 2023. There is an unknown at this point as far as the, the dispatching line because yeah. someone said it's not yeah. going to take 911 calls from Kennebec County anymore. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, I, I did. It, I don't at all. That. Yeah, and we've pushing that in there because we don't know at this point. We're uh, still trying to figure out what RCC and Augusta is going to do and what the costs are going to be. But well, I think we made the option to uh, up it a little bit just because we don't know at this point. Yeah, those regional things are hard to predict ahead, particularly if people are getting dicey about it. Yeah, and I did mention that the ten percent increase for ambulance services, not knowing what that's going to look like, because we don't have to wait coming out with this yeah. next year. But we do know it's going to go up because of his statements when he was here. Yep. And in the paper. And in the paper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Another yeah. I think Eric was saying. The last you must have the select board here as well. Yes. Right. Capital. Right. So I think for some some unknown reason the spreadsheet with all our tracks on it got all discombobulated. So I'm just here to kind of clarify on on what we're doing because it was the way the spreadsheet was. If you're not in the middle of the fire department, you probably wouldn't be able to. It's been confused it the number of people. It's <laughs> Eric did the, did the best with what he had for information. So I, I think there's some some clarifications. Basically, we're replacing the brush truck that we have now, which is the old rescue truck, 1988 Chevrolet. And it was originally the rescue truck when we had a rescue. We used to call it Squad 51 affectionately. And then it became our brush trap back in must have been 2004 or five. We don't the rest. Rest. It's it's a small unit that carries 250 gallons of water a pump so we can put out wood fires. Mm -hmm. Um such brush traps are a big thing because that's what we had when we could get smaller vehicles in the woods. Now everybody's got ATVs <laughs> with pumps on them. Oh. And side by side, so the brush trucks are kind of going out of fashion. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Reedfield's always had three class A pumpers. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the 2005 F3 F550 that's they call a mini pumper, and that also hauls 250 gallons of water. And that's actually going to kind of drop down into that brush truck roll. It's going to be like a utility truck because it's our water supply truck because we have dry hydrants. So we actually have to have a truck on the hydrant to fill the big trucks. And that will utilize, that will still be used in that. It'll be used in traffic accidents because it does, it carries the seven jaw of life with the big trucks and it pumps water. So it's something. We can use that truck for many things besides it looks kind of the concept of that little truck was to get down to camp road mm -hmm. but it only carries 250 gallons of water and put it to sold uh somebody that said it could put out the same load as a thousand gallons 
I did that part. Only off by a perfect laboratory conditions, it definitely will put out the same fire load as a thousand gallons. But, but nothing. We, we don't operate in perfect laboratory conditions. Yeah. So that the the idea is to drop that down. And then we're replacing that position with another full size plastic pump, which is like pretty much identical to the 2017 or 28. I forget what that actually came in. It was 2018. I think yeah. it, by the time we got it, we actually went up a year from what it was going to be because it took so long. What was the 17 increase? I think it was 17 when the truck's actually at 18 now, just because. And so it's going to be another full size pumper. It's going to give us another 1500 gallons of water. So, just a marine field, we'll have 4500 gallons of water on wheels. And given that we have almost no fire hydrants, that's not a bad thing. No, because we're out, we don't have any fire hydrants and it doesn't dry. So, that's, you know. 4,500 gallons of water, that's a lot, a lot of have on wheels, you know, because we don't have like fat, they've got a tanker that carries 2,500 gallons of water. Manchester has a 2,500 gallon, but we, that long time ago, we converted to pumper tankers. So doing that, we lose a little bit of water capacity, but the truck's more really useful. Which is the one with the broken frame? The the ninety six freight liner is one that has some frame ish issues. What what sounds gonna, like a bad frame issue. It's no, it's not really. They double frame. If you told me my car had a broken, yeah, it, it's a it's a fire truck. So where where the frame has an issue, it's on the part of the double frame, so it's stronger anyways, but it needs to be fast. Yeah, but it just it rusted in between the two frames. And it was just a crack out of the rust and cracked the frame. So it's it's repairable in where it is, it's an easy repair. But it it's a 96 and it's getting getting up in years. So that that truck's just gonna kind of instead of being a front line truck, it's gonna be a second line truck. So if we have a bad fight, obviously it's going to go out. But if something happens to one of the front line trucks, she instantly got coverage. But you're going to get it fixed. Yeah, oh, 100 percent because uh, the town and the firefighters association we put a considerable amount of money over the past to update it, so it's as as useful now as a brand new truck. You can add a phone to it and you know. We've made it useful. But I still see it, you know, before that truck's still going to be around, you know, for another kind of couple of years. Um, because all the newer trucks have plastic water tanks instead of steel. And that was the big driving thing for the tanks on the rest of it. You know, all of the new stuff has plastic tanks. And so that we were on a 30 year rotation. I think I bumped it up to a 40 year rotation on the ones with the plastic tanks. And, you know, given what we do with trucks and how much they use, that, that, that 40 years might turn into 50 years. I'm going to a nuclear power plant. <laughs> well, when you look at the air force, it's still flying B 52s. Um, so, just because you're told that you don't throw it away, you keep it updated. And... But, Okay, so what about the cost of the new truck? Yeah, Are we that's... still in it's still correct? It's <laughs> not. I didn't think it was <laughs> did I not say that? But, but it's not far. I said it we got that two years ago. We can't no. be correct. It was not is you you estimated six? Six. Yeah. So today I had the guy give us another estimate. And I got that back this afternoon. And I just picked myself up off the floor. Just say it. To, to get here. It was uh, <laughs> somewhere around $655,000 yeah. with the uh, right, right at this present time. And I believe he said the end of March, figure on another 5% because I had my price increase. 
and they did offer a discount, um, but it was only 5% instead of 15 or in that range. So um, if we had been looking at the original discount, we would have been closer to 600,000, but, but uh, they have increased their prices and reduced their discounts for upfront payments. So now we're looking at 625, 630,000 probably for, for the cost of that. So. And is it still a year? I'll see. Years we should have done this last year. So if we, if we order it, you know, in June or July, we'll, we'll be waiting on two years for my Yeah, well, we can't order it before July, right? Because uh, the vote isn't. The vote. No, yeah, we can't order it before July, but I think that they, they may be willing to just take a commitment subject to a vote. I don't know. I have to, we need to negotiate a little bit with them on that. Um, and say, hey, this is our good thing. Oh, I think um, last yeah. last time with 63, they agreed to that and then had to go through the vote. I'm pretty sure of that. Did we lose anything though if we if the voters didn't approve it? No. It was pretty much a if we didn't officially order it, but they were not, they, they, they were pretty much they, they put you in the and, and the people locked locked it in. Yeah. 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 I haven't yet this gotcha. <laughs> Yeah. So until we don't start doing anything for 18 or 20 months. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I think just there's a lot less fire truck manufacturers in the country. Really? Because they keep dropping like dropping down the American or French because it's going on a lot of old time manufacturers that uh have been uh, absorbed, absorbed by other companies for years. I think it was Pierce was absorbed. I can't remember. Oh, KME was absorbed by Elon. So that whole marketplace is shrinking. So then you had the supply issues, and I'm sure right. they had employee, you know, worker issues and don't have workers like everybody else in the country. So, you know, yeah. two years. Yeah. So yeah. we have this all recorded for you. So you, for your listening pleasure. Sure. Sure. My view on this is that um, what we're looking at is 5% more than what we had originally put in the budget. So it's approachable. Um, I do need to confirm and, and do more work on the uh, the interest rate. That's the piece that I think could cause some more heartburn for us. Uh, it may make us reconsider a longer term, um, even though I don't like that idea. Maybe we go from seven to 10 years or something to try to mitigate some of this impact, even though it's a little bit more interest. Those are things we'll have to talk about, I think, in a month or so, um, once we get a better idea of what those interest rates could, could look like from the bond bank. Um, but I, I'd recommend that uh, if we were thinking about it before, we should still be thinking about it because it's a not that much of a difference at this point from what we had originally had in the budget. And as Alan said, we should have done it last year. Yeah, we should have done it last year. <laughs> and that, I, I pushed for it. <laughs> and that means we shouldn't wait till next year. <laughs> we seem to keep going up and up. And yeah. up. Well, and the debt service didn't have any go No. So that's the problem the borrowing are, are only going to go up what, what would you think alan or anybody else in the committee about a longer term uh i mean have a look at the numbers probably or yeah, yeah but they, i i didn't realize it was only seven years yeah. actually and it is a the, 40 year useful yeah i mean the 63 what was that on a five or a seven that was seven that that was the shortest one that Sometimes the normal fire department we've ever done because they've always been 10 or more. Is that even, even on the <clears throat> lease track? I think that was a 10 year lease, wasn't it? 162 when we got that debt. That was a lease, that was a short, it was a. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> so the one that's being retired, the debt that's being retired this year was a seven year. That was a seven year. Sorry. Yep. Yeah, because I liked the idea of a lower interest rate and we had the capacity. Um, we have, we still have the capacity. Yeah. And I think it's pretty clear what my views are on hearing that, that it's, we aren't at capacity and it's helping to have some value, especially if it's for this kind of an issue. 
Well, whenever we, I was on the slide when we had the auditors come, they always said you don't carry enough debt. I rest. <laughs> I didn't say that. Not that anybody liked that, but it definitely affects us because we'll try for grant and we feel that ratio is so good. It's hard for us to obtain grants. It's just, it's crazy. We're not deep enough well, in the hole. To... <laughs> Healthy mix. Yeah. You, know, you, you don't want to be over in debt. Right. So I, I'll suggest um, I'll, I'll bump this up 10 years as a starting point. And that would certainly, I think that would actually probably lower the overall annual impact, even, even if we have a higher rate and it's higher, slightly higher expense. So I'll, I'll look at that as a placeholder, if that's okay. And see where that, see where that leads us. So, anything else we need to bug Lee about? <laughs> are we still okay with volunteers? We are. Good. We actually, in the firefighter one two program that I'm instructing them, we've got eight refilled people in it. So, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, well, we've got just what we need for volunteers at this point. Thank you. Yeah. Everybody says good things about it. Yeah. what we want. We still get the most votes every time. Yep. <laughs> but you know, other times do it too. It was a guy that came to my mother's house when she fell down and he said, oh, I know Ben and I know Lee. <laughs> They're <Yeah>. the best. Hopefully it was all the time where I am. Okay. So oh, what's where where's the top of our agenda that we skipped over? Uh, well, I think we can only go to the people that are present. We've got yeah. people from the library, so they win. Am I excused? Yeah. Yeah. See you later, yeah. Lee. Anytime you guys want to come up and have a real good tour of the fire station, we'll come after yeah. those yeah. water sprinklers. Yeah. 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 We got a site site visit with contractors tomorrow at ten o'clock. If Lee's up. <laughs> Can I stop by? It depends on how late I'm up tonight. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Lee. Have a good evening. And, uh, and I really don't miss being on the budget committee. It's <laughs> it was a learning experience that yeah. everybody in town should have. It. Hopefully, you're forgetting it. <laughs> no, because it makes <laughs> this stuff a lot easier and the whole budget thing a lot easier. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye, everybody. Would you like to join us? If you want to talk about library. Hi, how are you? Hi, we're looking for department five, right? Department five. And um, I'm just going back up and find out what page we're on. Starts on the web. Okay. Um, and I think that the, the format that we have, um, as I said in the case of the past, is a little bit different than what might be presented, but that's um, we can we can reconcile that if need be. But I think really the thing to pay attention to is that some is presented for information. Um, I go from there. No, Sonia's probably getting one that gave me an apple. Oh, <laughs> well, I, I, uh, well, it's, it, it's been so hard to get people to, to, to give us stuff in a format that matches our own. I'm, I'm just so used to that. So, sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you have questions. I, well, how come there's like this massive jump in office supplies? I know it's not a lot of money, but it just jumped. 50%. Why? Really? Office supplies, is that what we're yeah. looking at? 1055? Yeah. Looking 800 to $1,200. Oh. I tracked 300 dollars for this year. I think probably it's mainly like paper and ink and everything that we've been going through. It's It's been bumped up along the way. Like 50%. I mean, I'm just we're on track for this year. Just seeing like I don't know. 
And say it turns pink. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think um, also in programming and things that we're doing, like flyers and things like that, there's a lot more expected because we're going to be doing more events and so more paper and more, like I said, ink is ink. a big thing. Yeah, and that's yeah. huge. Yeah. When it comes to printing, are you running are still running um, uh, ink jets, or do you have like, okay? Yeah, we could we could look at investing in a laser jet, which is pretty much exclusively what we use at the office here because it does uh, give them a little bit more value. Um, but uh, of course, then getting a, a color laser jet is like five hundred bucks for a few. Right. Yeah. So right. we would have to look at that, but um, we, we we could talk about that as a possibility. We do have a Staples account and uh, get discounts and things. So. Uh, if that's that would hit the office department. Well, yeah. yeah. But if it in, in Massachusetts, that's where all the ink comes from is Staples. But I've been noticing when I'm putting the bills through that the ink is just, it's almost one month. Yeah, it's really. It, is it mostly, you think, in house uh, printing or is it, or do you think it's patrons printing? In house. Uh, in house. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I'll make a note to um, look at some uh, some laser jet options so we can talk about it. Okay. In other words, it's unremarkable. I mean, it's the change in the personnel is the change in the personnel we're seeing across the board. So. Right. It's the personnel that, I mean, we did it, like you said, across the board, the wages went up, which put your retirement up and put your paper up. And... Yeah. Well, where is the the building O and M got the maintenance. Where is it now? That's under the maintenance. maintenance. Okay. Yeah. So should we drop this or not? Are you can't drop it because some sort of the history drops off. Um, well, uh, I mean it's it's a it's a budget line. Let me see here. So it's on page twelve. Oh, oh seventy sixty. Gotcha. Yeah, it's yeah. got the history. Yeah, that's just the off. history. Yeah. And that's because they had grant and they did different things with they did to improve the building. So like next year, well, it'll be two years, we won't see any of it. It'll just look, but it'll be there still, right? Because well, you we'll carry the history forever. Yeah, unless we get grant money again and then we'll have it again. We'll have it again. <laughs> and, and actually I can I can look at um just taking that off of the valid account list and that won't show anything, but that's not an option. There's no accounting thing. Um, yeah, for, for I, the presentation for that. Um, I, you know, I, uh, I just didn't know. I assumed it moved somewhere. I yeah. just couldn't remember. It's just a little distracting to see it there. Yeah. But I know you have to carry it for this way. It's got to live somewhere. So, yeah, I think the maintenance of the building falls under the town maintenance. Right. Town building maintenance. Town yeah, building we try to consolidate that because if there's an overage, it's much easier for us to absorb it um, and buildings are notoriously right. unpredictable. So, so in this 6530 under capital equipment that's a replacement, this is not depreciation, right? This is a per this is so something that's $250 is not capital and not toilet. We can change the uh, title of that. I think it, it really just means just like, equipment. Like, like, I guess you call it furniture. What, what do they use for accounting? Uh, furniture and uh, fixtures. Fixtures. Yeah. Fixtures. Yeah. Well, well, furniture for the off. Desks and chairs. We depreciate them. Well, I haven't said, but things like a printer. That's, that's an office supply. Just guys, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like buying a carton of paper. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Um, so, so I'm, I'm not sure what this would be then, because uh, what what it is depends on how we classify it. What was equipment purchase? I think it was part of the grant too. I think so. that they, yeah. I think we bought a printer. To tell you the truth, okay. that's an office supply. So I, and maybe you needed to track it for a grant, but it's. Mm -hmm. I was your auditor, I guess. What the hell are you doing? For 250 bucks. Yeah. But I think it was an equipment purchase because of, we had to have some place to put that for the grant that we received, right? But it wasn't an office supply per se. But it is an office supply and it could be And so you can right? show it. You can show a receipt, an invoice, a paid invoice, or they don't care where it is in the books. For the grantor doesn't uh, care. So 
It's just distracting. Yeah. I think it was just all new to us too. So we had paddled out of grants at the time. Yeah, all of a sudden, you had money and responsibilities that you had. Right. And that's when the one you put in the object code for the grant yeah. here, and then you can pull it out easily. Well, that would make us have a million more expense and objects. But only you can suppress it. Well, no, they don't change. So I don't even dare to speak on that one. We are not, not far off. I think that once we do have that special revenue reserve right. uh, account established, we won't have to worry about that because the grant will be in that. It'll go in there. You just put it against the revenue. Right. It'll be, that'll be clean. And so what, what I'll do with this, grant. I'll look at dropping. Out of the valid account list, 6530, and any other one that we talked about now is it won't show. What 7060? Yeah. Yeah. And those two just won't show. Um, and that is like you know, universally we need to look at with the budgets. And we have a lot of this, as you know, because of the movement we've had between accounts. And yeah. Okay. Well, those two I can look at. So, other than our legacy issues, there's this. And whether we want to think about finding a more efficient way to print, you know, it looks like the, I don't hear any other nasty questions from the library. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nasty. But one thing I will say is I, I think it's great. The library is doing more and more programming. Right. Um, and I think at some point we do need to have a discussion about what that means and, and how it, it might be not in a negative way, but becoming more of a community center every year as opposed to just basic right. library functions. And Teresa and I have started having a conversation about that because we have seen more and more the grants are coming in for, for things that are you know more community oriented and less building centric or or, or media centric, right? Right. Uh, and so that's that's a long-term discussion we'll want to have in the next couple of years, how that how that works and what it means. Um, because it is a difference, and, and uh, people shouldn't expect the budget to be flat if, if we're expanding services in an area that's needed. So, yeah. You just have to make sure people understand that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, thank you. No. <laughs> I don't usually do it. Yeah, I'm definitely doing it. Okay, thank you. 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 Non-profit, some classified. Is that where? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're going heavily on the uh, the end of the expense portion of this uh, detail sheet. Probably. Let's see. Page forty-two. Okay. And it's not there yet. <laughs> no, it's not there yet. Yeah. You know, this is left left over from last year. Did we not fill that? We haven't done those non profits, have we? No, we haven't gotten them all back. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, right. so this isn't real. This isn't That's real. Not real. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's real. <laughs> well, Ross can tell you what well, reality is. <laughs> this reality is here. All right. Um, so, um, Rob, you're talking about uh, the, the Mermaid Cook food. Right. And that's why I'm here. I am a representative of this six, seven-year-old group. Uh, I needed something to do with my spare time after I got off the select board. And it seemed like a, a really good fit because, you know, in terms of one-to-one -one service to benefit, it's right up there. Um, so the first thing I did when I joined the organization was to ask, why don't we ask the RSU 38 member communities or some marginal level of support to offset our operations. And there were some interesting comments about why. Um, well, somebody's got to go first. If one does it, then nobody else wants to do it. You know, there's that 
that equity share issue that, that always comes up. But somebody has to be first. And the reality check that we got with inflation coming up this year and really smacking us uh, was the fact that uh, our costs are going up. And with the consensus of the operating group, which is very informally structured, uh, <laughs> I got permission to begin overtures to the member towns uh, for some minimum level of support to offset our operating costs. Uh, presently, we run about $24,000 a year, give or take. We are exclusively supported by donations and grants, which are very hard to structure in terms of budget planning purposes. Uh, we are all volunteer. We have no overhead for staff as far as the volunteers are concerned. RSU 38 gives us the space, pays the utilities, does the books, and acknowledges gifts. So basically, we're just there to uh, shop, load the boxes, and get them out to people in need. We do not means test. Anybody who says they need it and is living in the district, we help which is a little bit different from our friends in Mount Vernon. Uh, they're much more structured. They do a great job, but we are a tad different. Right now, we do between 18 to 20 food boxes a week. And it's fairly evenly distributed among the member towns. There isn't one town that's getting 15, another one getting one. But that because demand is you know, like a candle in the wind. You don't know from week to week how it's gonna work. The lion's share of what we do is delivered to shut-ins and folks that don't have vehicles. But we also do on every Thursday, uh, there's a drive-by. And that's where sometimes we don't pack enough boxes. Sometimes we have a few left over. But anyway, that 24K is about what it costs and price of a dozen eggs is, so it's, it's a fairly graphic illustration of, of what's going on. And it seemed to my mind as a newcomer and just looking in from the outside that some marginal level of support from the member communities would go a long way to helping us bridge those donation and grant shortfalls as they may happen. At the end of the fiscal year, we do get a lot of donations because that's when a lot of people time their charitable donations. But we're in business 52 weeks a year. So we want, we, in Reedfield, um, did a ballot petition. A lot of you signed it. Copy here. We got the requisite number of signatures. So we are on the ballot, the warrant for this upcoming year. We are seeking an annual contribution from the town of Reedfield of $1,000. $1,000 gives us about two to three weeks worth of operating cushion. I have approached Manchester and we will be going to one of their budget committee meetings next month. And a member of our volunteer group is on the budget committee in Wayne and they are in the loop. Uh, candidly, we have not approached Mount Vernon yet because they have a standalone food bank. And to my mind, it seems a little sensitive to approach them at this juncture. We do deliver a, a significant amount, uh, equally distributed to, uh, to clients in Mount Vernon. So I need to frankly do a little bit more research as to what, if any, 
contribution the town of Mount Vernon makes to its food, food pantry. And if they don't, uh, maybe it will be time for a discussion at a later date. But three of the four towns are in the loop and we in the pro for thousand dollar a year annual contributions. So the rules, as I understand them, when you do a, a first time pro in the water application, is you have to go to the select board and explain yourself, and you have to come to the budget committee. I've been to the select board and they didn't car and feather me, so I'm assuming we're still good to go. And regardless, we're on the budget. We're in, we're, we will have a line there. Well, um, can I ask a question about that? First of all, I mean, Moran for Food Bank is in here for a grand. Were they in here in the current fiscal year? No. no. Uh, this is, I so think this is last year. No. It's all a figure. It's all a figure. The notes represent what we have so far. It hasn't been finalized because we don't have the final amount. So if there's a large question and there's also a budget item that people are going to vote on, isn't that confusing? What happens when people approve one and not the other? I can't speak to <laughs> how you're constructing your budget. Well, right now, but there is there is no town appropriation that I am aware of that goes to the food pantry. Well, there's not, but, but to your question, um, we deal with that fairly often. Um, that that um, uncertainty because we do have things that are on the warrant um, as symbol and items, and then have um, but this would be an article that would just be to appropriate a thousand dollars for the food bank as a single article. It wouldn't be in the budget. In the budget. So it would not get lumped in this 14 by 35. No, well, all those are individual. It would it would be just like the 5,000 of you. Yeah, 5,000 of you, meeting house, every entity except for the water sheds. It is, yeah. You did it when I was 10, yeah, I thought it was, okay, so whatever it is, senior specter, I'm 100 bucks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And that's the way we've had it set up. It, 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 you know, I could take it or leave it. I'd, I'd probably prefer to put it together as one, but that's not what we have for a system. So, uh, but we, um, yeah. So but that, so that was show show is two separate questions. Just one. Just so one. regardless of what Ralph's done with us, if we just put it in here anyhow, it's not going to be voted on twice. Correct. And if the voters approve it at some point, you would get a, a letter from the regional district that manages our financial affairs requesting the approved amount, which is the way I understand the process uh, should work. Yep. So the uh, does automatically get sent to you. Yep. You need to yeah. Yeah. We have, we have to, you may you, the voters may approve it, but we have to request it after the fact. To invoice yes. it. Understood. Um, so the, the, last, the, last, the last thing that I have to ask, uh, in addition to reading you as required by the process, is uh, when the warrant comes out, the individual line items have a select board recommends and a budget committee recommends. And I would respectfully request that when it is incorporated into the warrant, that you recommend that you that we do this. And is it fair I ask? Hmm? Yeah, it's reasonable. But we are uh, voting on that now. Okay. And no. and the, and the, and the, <laughs> no, no, but but you do have the option of saying up or down. And I would I would request that you give us a thumbs up. Uh, and if we get three of the four towns, that essentially gives us six weeks of operating cushion where we can maybe do some things that might get put on hold in terms of when the farmers co-op, we buy vegetables from them on, on, a, on a weekly basis during the summer and we do it during the winter as crops are available. It gives us more opportunities to do some things in terms of the nutritional value of the boxes that we prepare every week so uh, respectfully request that you support us and thank you for your time thank you for coming in and for uh, taking on one more thing oh no it's <laughs> this is the only thing now okay. <laughs> which, which i truly enjoy <laughs>
Thanks again. Thanks. 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 Good evening. Aaron, you again. Me again. I see you all the time. I'm warm to see up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Did that come off, Karen? They're so oh, friendly. Don't... I think they're a friend. You yeah. seem okay. <laughs> Let me see more. Yeah, I think. Well, oh, everyone. I think you didn't expect to beat me up. I thought I was next to last on the agenda. It's usual. <laughs> so, <laughs> you want to see the children? It's not so nice. They, they take people that are sitting on the road waiting. Well, they have to be me. Wonderful. Yeah, if you had come earlier, you might have gone first. Well, there you go. <laughs> you can just remember that. So, anyways, I'm here for the transfer station. Oh, that's right. Yes. Okay. That's it. It's number one. Okay. Whatever page it is, I don't have a copy in front of me, but I will just kind of wait. Yes, plenty here. You have questions, etc. Well, oh, Theresa, thanks. Plenty there. there page 34. <laughs> If you want it, I don't know how you want to go through this, or um, you know, if you want me to talk first, or if you want to have questions, or, or, or let me just let Eric talk a little bit, uh, and then I'll, I'll, I'll point stuff to you, Karen. I would say that with the administration, the education line, um, most of the training that we have is free, and we actually haven't spent anything uh, for for a long time. I think we had uh, you know some uh, some big ambitions there, so that's why that two hundred uh, fifty was dropped out because we just don't use it. Um, and if we do have it, we, we can certainly. Um, uh, I think we moved actually, well, we moved that to the administration, didn't we? Because I know we paid yeah. some for yeah, that's... this, no, because of where it's divided with the other communities. No, we can't. Oh, we can't okay, that's it. right. So this one, we... if they want to go take a college course, that's right. Okay, all right. And nobody's utilized it in a long time, years, ever. Yeah, ever. So I've like got these on the slides in a while. People bring things into the transportation and they have a bunch of pens and they'll say, I can I put these in the freebie room? And I'll say, I'll take care of them for you. <laughs> and in the door they go. This is a legacy. Paper clips? Paper clips? Oh no, it doesn't matter, but I'm just telling you, paper clips, you know, people bring them in. I'm like, we'll take them, don't put them in the mail bin. Yeah, um, uh, 15 financial. Um, we do have a big change there. Yeah, uh, we had the budget for those expenses before because we hadn't had a really operating system. But Karen, you want to talk about how important that credit card system has become? To Actually, the entire not just well, the credit card system, the POS point of sale retail system. Um, People love it that we're able to take credit cards, even though, so everybody knows, the merchant fee is not absorbed by the town of Wheatfield, just like it is here at the town office. It's not absorbed. It's absorbed. Oh, Teresa's looking. I wouldn't go phone. that far. Oh. <laughs> I guess some, I don't like some merchant fees are not it's absorbed. And explains that better than me. So some of them we taxpayers pay for? Oh, yes. It does not I will, paper I will stop talking about that any further. It's I will talk good, about the ease, the, the convenience, and the efficiency of the whole system. I mean, all of you know you come here to the transfer station, and you know, we'd have to write out receipts. Can I have your name? Can I have your address? You know, blah, blah, blah. One of these, ten of these, blah, blah, and write it out, and then give you the copy that way. Instead, now we have the, the system where we just simply boop, boop, boop on the machine, and out pops the receipt. Cash comes out, or a check, or credit card, whichever whichever convenient payment system you want to use, and it has reduced, um, it has made it more efficient, and it certainly reduced the line of customers waiting to pay for items. Mm. Yeah. So, and 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 overall, it's just brought us into the kind of modern age that everybody's at. Great. So, um, thanks, Ken. So, insurance. Um, Usual, uh, we, we, we have increases, we have to for them. Uh, personnel, same story as what we've seen in every department where we have employees, uh, the costs are increasing. This one, you see a little bit higher increase than what had been uh, in other departments because we did include that half time um, seasonal position um, or at least a number of hours related to that because we already had some booked. But um, 
in order to prevent um, maintenance staff from on a regular basis having to set aside other work to cover the transfer station. So we're upping our um, our staffing in that way for coverage, but also um, making sure that we have uh, you know staffing for Sunday hours in the summertime and all of that. So um, so what we have there is is that um, that position that we had discussed, I, I think previously. So. Uh, Stipends, um, same uh, increase 10% across the board as we had for all stipend positions. Um, having aside, the select board had a discussion uh, on, on Monday about select board stipends. Um, and one member was saying they wanted to forgo it, and the rest were like, we want people to volunteer. Um, and so I think that's probably going to stick, but uh, it is a, a point of discussion anyway. But um, back to the first page, we're going to uh, utilities. Um, uh, basic uh, changes there to account for increases in electric and heating costs. Uh, the laboratory, we uh, did drop that because our experience so far uh, has been that um, well, we, we, we fixed the toilet uh, and that um, we had to pump that more than necessary because we had a toilet that was leaking. We have a holding tank there. Yeah. You know, instead, of, instead of the same, oh, they, they already know all that. Well, they don't know the whole detail, but you know, well, about basically, that. I mean, we have a holding tank there, and I know so much, obviously, that's what they call that. And um, we were finding that the alarm or the, the full tank is full alarm was going off a little more frequently than it should, given the fact that it's not used, it's the same amount of people using the toilet. So, um Basically, what happened was we got this new fancy fancy toilet. <laughs> low flow. In the low flow, low flow with this thing in the air that has pressurization in it and all this stuff. So anyway, that seems to work quite well. And we haven't had the alarm go off since. And Teresa hasn't yelled at me since. And uh, <laughs> we haven't had call Pat. Not to that anyway. We haven't had call Pat Jackson on an emergency basis. <laughs> So anyways, that's, that's what that is. I mean, we had to obviously hire a phone on. It's nothing that um, any of us could have done. Uh, so they took care of that, and hopefully that will, time will tell that um, we aren't having to spend as much money on that kind of maintenance, company maintenance, et cetera. So that's the laboratory. And it's wonderful to have an indoor toilet. Those of you who don't know, we used to have an outhouse in the room. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Indeed. Uh, yeah. That was back when I was on the select board. Mm -hmm. Yes. I never knew. We yelled at the then oh. manager and said, fix this. Oh, my God. It was so bad. But it got fixed. <laughs> and we, we rigged up an electric space heater in there to make it kind of nice and sauna like. Oh, <laughs> and I got the fire chief saw the cord running in the building. <laughs> he wasn't exactly favoring it, but we just. Unplugged it and plugged it back in. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's nice to have a toilet. So, so it's a fun thing to be open today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it was, it was pretty much cheap before late. So, I mean, what is that? Yeah. So, anyway, sorry to take up your time. No, it's good to have a little bit of humor. And, yeah. Uh, and these meetings. So, if you invited him, it was actually bad for me. So, moving on to contract services, so a couple big things here. Uh, first, the single sort of recycling, which Wait, is what's the software. Uh, uh, software. Debit card, the credit card. Uh, no, that's our share of the web hosting, I believe. Unless that's a different line. Let me go back. This hosting is down here. Okay. Yes. Software license support. Is that for us there, or is that for the POS, or something else? Teresa, do you know? I'm trying to find. I don't know. Contract service. Yeah. It's new. 50-25. It had no history. It's, it's new. Brand new line. So yeah. is, is, is it yeah. a credit card thing? Uh, I believe I believe so, but I need to look at that. We did it for a very good reason, Teresa. We did I, it. Don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't Wait a minute. Was it because when you put the PC in the office? Because we have that PC in the office, too. And that just happened. So yeah, there's not that. 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 No, this is a share of something. Yep. Um, okay. We'll, get, we'll make some notes on that, and they'll show up in the next round. I'll make a note that it's yeah. going to be The advantage of having costs on the transfer station is that they get spread around. 
not to jerk our down things. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> I know you know that, but um, it's still a lot of cost. It's new, and he yeah. I did right over it, so yeah. it makes me respect mm -hmm. it. Sure, I'm so sure. Um, yeah, I was looking at the big, big twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, oh, well, it's pink. This is the dead notes. Um, so the twenty thousand uh, basically single source recycling uh, varies year to year depending on the recycling markets. Also, we had a change on our contract um, uh, terms with Eco Maine, uh, and basically neither one of those were in our favor. Uh, and so we're expecting a twenty thousand uh, dollar expense based on our experience to date this year. Um, I believe we will do better than that, but I don't want to hang my hat on it. So we're being conservative and, and uh, why didn't we budget anything last year because we um we were in a, a very healthy market where they were paying us yeah. for recyclables and, and so that markets turned upside down upside down upside down yeah yeah, yeah. well like you said it it may improve we're seeing some signs that it's getting better um with the resource recovery association but um I don't trust anything right now with this economy, so I'm planning on you need more aluminum. <laughs> What's that? You need more aluminum coming oh, through. That's yeah. what makes all the time. I'm just saying, plus the pills. We used to send them all that next year. Oh, yeah. So it's <laughs> to recover the whatever yeah. silver. Oh, well, actually, nobody takes it. I do like to. So what turns the recyclables market upside down? Uh, uh, supply and demand. Um, uh, if if um if there's um uh, a lot of production happening uh, and there's not enough aluminum, then then aluminum prices go up. Um, what we've seen is things like paper and plastic plummeting. Uh, the value of those commodities plummeting, um, especially for. Uh, for um, sometimes it depends on the supply of virgin material as well. Um, and that's part of this, but uh, with this one, it, um, metals are doing well, and those are reflected in the, in the revenue side when we yeah. talk about that later. But uh, right now, uh, cardboard, paper, and plastics are are underperforming pretty badly. I believe that that seven eighty is the Ren Ross. Yes, that's what it is. Oh, it is. Yeah, or, that's for our point of sale. Yep. system. Yeah. That's the company. So, yeah, yeah, it's tech support for the software that they had said we wouldn't need tech support for. <laughs> oh, it's, it is tech support. It is tech support. <laughs> that's that, that's that sixty bucks a month where they're going to say we have to get a management plan for us to help you change your account structure, even though we were supposed $60 to do the dollars a month or. That, that's a, a round number. It was something like that. Uh, it was something like that. Uh, whatever 780 divided by 12 is. It's paid for it. I mean, I, I occasionally I, we have to call them to say, you know, there's a charge here that I can't get off. It's a, an erroneous charge. And the way at the end of the day, when, when, I, get, when I get a printout of all the, the revenues, it might tell me I should have $40 more than what we actually have and what we actually transacted because one of us made a mistake, which is, yeah on the machine. So when we call them to have them assist us in getting that fee off there so it doesn't carry over to Teresa and make her hair gray, um, <laughs> then furthermore, whatever, then um they're now saying we have to pay for that. And originally it, we thought it was part of the part of the plan. Right. And it's not a daily occurrence, but it's a periodic occurrence. Yeah. And, anyway. So apparently that's what that's seven hundred eighty dollars is. Did you make a note? Uh, make a note in trio. Um, so that's 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 um, that's a good. Don't do that again. Yep. So yeah. back to the single sort and, and that that kind of thing. I mean, it's just it's yeah. just the the economy and in a lot of instances, I hate to say this, but it's it costs less for companies to take virgin plastic and manufacture the item that they need, the container they need. Than it is to recycle. So obviously that's what they're going to do. That's mm -hmm. what we've learned on, on kind of a global scale. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so the other big change here uh, is in trash tipping. Um, and that's uh, demo and trash. Yeah. 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 We're, um, we're able to absorb in demo because we have a little bit of extra capacity there. So that's not going to change. But the MSW tonnage um, and the cost for that is, is um, 
Is that because their costs are going? Yes. Yes, and our contract uh, adjusts automatically um, based on CPI and a few other factors. But um, so it looks like we're going to be. Uh, well, it might be a little bit short. I'm going to have to look at that again next month. Um, we had a big month, didn't we, this year, Teresa? Yeah. Or this month. Yeah. Um, so I'll have to look at that. We might need to up that to maybe 120,000, uh, but uh, we'll see. Um, well, so we're, we're, in, we're in month seven on this, aren't we? So we're not, not that bad. Not on this sheet. No, this one, this one's in January? No, this is February 9th. Okay, yeah. so we're. So. We should have seven months of accrual then because we always have the prior month, right? Then one more. Yeah. Yeah. But um, it's it's so tight, but I want to look at that number again uh, because I don't trust it. I'll make it up to 57. Okay. Um, and Karen, have you noticed any changes in the, in the type or amount of material that's coming in um, in your perspective? From trash perspective or trash. demo? Trash and both, I guess, but yeah. Thanks. Single the single sort, um, mostly what we get now is cardboard. I mean, the, it's mm -hmm. it's completely changed mm -hmm. in terms of we don't, well, in the old days, we used to get a variety of things, including a lot of plastics, not plastic bags, but plastic, I, you know, containers. And we don't get so many plastic containers. We don't get much paper. We don't get hardly any newspaper. Um, magazines, same thing. Uh, junk mail, obviously, the mail, we still get that. But the big thing that we get is cardboard. Because everybody's ordering. Yes. Everybody's ordering from, from Amazon or from wherever yeah. they're ordering. Yeah. Or sure. you, know, you know, buying a yeah. sign. Yeah. Why don't you read? And the people love it. Which doesn't, which doesn't so, pay any money. It doesn't pay any money. And right. also, it's, it's, it's a high volume. High volume. Money. So that's why I mean, everybody gets mad. You know, I'm sure you've all heard the lecture when you come in there. Like, please cut it up into smaller than three foot pieces because the cardboard, just the volume of it, just pushes right. that machine right up. And then, you know, you can lift it up with your hand after it when it's full instead of having it, well, not quite, but instead of having it be many, many tons. Um, so that, that has changed a bit there. And then you add that to the fact that the economy isn't paying so much for recycling and I'm certainly not advocating that we do away with it by any way, shape, or form. I'm, I'm sure that if we compare that to what we're paying for MSW, it's still more cost effective. I think it all depends on what you're throwing in, oh. the, in the just throwing the cardboard into the. Well, that's what I mean. Some people, yeah. some some communities have done that. We've all heard read about those. I mean, they literally take all the recycling down. And they're like, we're not going to bother with it. Everything goes in the trash. Everything goes in the landfill. And it's just kind of, in my opinion, kicking that big old can down the road, that waste, waste handling, waste reduction can down the road. But so that's so that to answer your questions, that that's what's changed in terms of the, the types of material coming in. Demo is still the same thing. A lot of you know, although a lot more people are doing their own home projects themselves, but it's still the same amount of material coming in. So we uh, uh, moved on to equipment maintenance, 60, 35. We did up that um, just because we've seen an increasing uh, need for maintenance. Uh, we had a, we've had a bad run with um, the um, solid waste compactor. Uh, this year, I, it, it is an anomaly. Um, I really think that 5,000 should be uh, provided we get the, the issue resolved, which I, I think we're close. Um, uh, that that 5,000 will be enough. And if not, we've made a step in the right direction without over budgeting. So that's my hope on that. Um, uh, moving on to uh, 6550 tools, uh, we did budget for a uh, flammable cabinet uh, for um, the unique and special waste that sometimes gets done to the transfer station. We do intend to have that offset by grants. I'm talking when people drop off things that, that either is in an unmarked container or um, like um, uh, Things like transmission fluid that we're not allowed to put in. Materials we're not supposed to. Accept. We're not supposed to accept, but have to because people drop them off either unintentionally or sneakily. Usually the latter. The baby on the... It's yeah. sort of the baby on the yeah. yeah. Literally on the steps of the oil container. Yeah. We've gotten so much stuff on the steps to that container. Yeah. It's... So anyway, the bet. I mean, ideally, the best way to handle it. The way it is now is we've got all these little machinations we do um, that. Probably DEP wouldn't be real happy about. 
but the DEP would be happy if we had a storage cabinet. And um, the maintenance maintenance crew allows us currently to what little room they have available because they have some legitimate needs for their cabinet and they have some chemicals in there. But they allow us to put some of the things in there, but it's just, we just, we need more room, more okay. space for that. So that's a safety thing and it can get offset as Eric was saying by um, MMA has safety plans actually that are available. So they can help, you know, reduce the cost because they'll pick cover part of it. Um, so moving on to building on now, uh, uh, we did drop uh, the um, uh, grounds by a couple thousand dollars. We we um, had done some earthwork at the facility, and this line I want to point out um, what we were looking at fixing uh, an area that we had recently added fill to, and I don't know yet whether that's going to be. Um, and Ellen, maybe you can give some guidance on this. Uh, capital or or just operating. Uh, it's going to be a sizable amount of gravel and some geotextile fabric um, to um, grade or basically separate the two layers of junk, uh, not junk, but uh, base material fill from a good surface gravel. Um, and uh, so we're going to have the geotextile there and then we're going to have good gravel on top. This is to make an area that we had previously had a pretty good slope on usable as a more or less level grade so we can expand our brush area uh, and not uh, feel the pinch so much to, um, uh, if we're not able to get a grinding service in, which has been a problem uh, because there's only two or three in the state that are willing to come and work in our area. Uh, and so um, we're basically expanding our footprint in that area and we have to put um, gravel and, and geotextile fabric in the ground and it might be Five or ten thousand dollars. So the question would be no idea. That's okay. All right. Well, so I'll ask the auditor. Yeah. Um, I argue with them that it is, but yeah, I I don't know. My feeling is that it would be You're too. You're fixing something that yeah. seems to have eroded. That's what it sounds. Or yeah, it wasn't done correctly. So it, no, it wasn't. It wasn't used for that for that actual function. I'm changing the purpose. So we're changing. I mean, basically, what it was was just kind of a sloped area, lumpy grass, and marking yeah. off the end of where you could drop your brush. And if you went over the other side, you know, you pull off the end of the brush. <laughs> so, anyways, now it's because we do get so much brush too. That's the other thing. I mean, people are very conscientious or whatever. I mean, things are coming down. So there's a lot of brush coming in. So in order to maximize, as Eric was saying, maximize the time in which we have to try and beg and plead and, you know, whatever, promise our firstborn kids to the uh, chipper companies to come in, we can just say, ha, ah, whenever you get around to it, boys. Oh, so wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, we have in the budget chipper that's being shared by... That's just along the roads. The... No, I thought it was being shared between two seven to seven. Also, sucks up leaves. Sucks up leaves. We don't deal with these shared individuals. We deal with these. If, if we wanted <laughs> something to handle what we have at that facility, it would be a million dollar. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. 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 You know those Smithsonian programs that are like mighty machines? Well, this would be a mighty machine. Yeah. 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 Stabilize the ground. <laughs> we have it on with the fire truck. <laughs> yeah. So, so we're not going that way. No. Uh, it would make the fire truck look cheap. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's 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 uh, we're adding lighting to the brush area. We're adding lighting. We've added lighting to um, a lot of um, uh, bins uh, in the compaction area. We've also put underground utilities into the uh, attendant booth. Uh, this coming year, all we have really planned is a remodel uh, of the um, of the compactor building. It needs shingles, siding, things like that. Um, and so that's what we're planning with that money at this point. Yeah. 
set the new covers for the the, the area are a couple of years out. And then that would be capital. And yeah. we're looking at capital. Unfortunately, a couple of years out, and yeah. that would be capital. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely something you folks on the budget committee all reiterate what I'm sure Eric has talked about in the past, you know, kind of is a get ready for way type of thing. But it really, I mean, the equipment needs it. I think that's part of the reason why the um, new trash compactor, relatively new trash compactor, is having some issues. And it just, in terms of the overall operations and the safety down below, which most people don't don't need to know about, but in terms of that as well too, it, it would be very, very beneficial for them. We keep expecting it. And a lot of it is, and a lot of it is because I mean, there's just so many other things that seem to be a little bit higher priority, not just at the transfer station, but throughout the town too. So I mean it's it's workable as it is. I don't mean to you know be here and crying and oh my god we're gonna you know have to send duck shots tomorrow. Push the but, <laughs> but one thing about the, that large right. project is that because we're looking at it using the reserve account that has been established through these the three town collaborative, yeah. we only have like twenty five thousand in that account, and that's so you need to let it build. We need to let it build a little bit, and and or we need to find a better way to lock in a, a financial commitment from those other towns so that we can borrow with confidence we're just not there yet so oh, that's that's part of it but so is it keeping yeah. moisture out of the out of the cells oh, right it's putting that's, it the, that's the idea is that, yeah. it would keep a lot of the moisture out i mean what what so, we're looking at building i mean wouldn't be a solid solid structure or anything like that no, you know, just, just, areas and all that but just to keep you know the rain out the snow out oh, yeah, just so the weight isn't put into the bottom of the, the weight, and also not only the weight, but in terms of it getting into the equipment itself and the, yeah. the operating the machine. Yeah. Yeah. And and that'd be ice. Ice is a real problem. Oh, I that. So that's that's I mean the big thing there. I mean it's like when you think about it, your own home. You know, can I afford to build a garage? I really need a garage. Can I afford to build it? And well, if I can't afford to build it, then I need to worry about this, 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 this with my vehicles and, and whatever is out there. It's, it's the same thing here, only yeah. you know, ten times more expensive. I guess probably even more than that now I think about. It. Yeah. But you know, again, long term with that, or not necessarily long term, but as Eric said, medium you know, once term, short medium term. term. That's, yeah, um, yeah. Um, so, so that really is the it's kind of the end of the operating budget, less the backhoe. Um, and the backer, we did increase the, um, the the fuel oil and fuel oil line for that a little bit because uh, we expect to have the same increases we've seen in other areas. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't show um, that we spent a lot yet, uh, and that's because again the RSU um, bills us once or twice a year, and it's like oh here's a bill for twelve hundred dollars or whatever it might be uh, in August for, or September for the prior year. How do they when do we do get the base? Yeah, cash. Well, what is that? I don't understand what they're doing. Yeah. They need to be more responsive. Don't know how they do. Really, I mean, they have a pretty good sized tag, so maybe they just when they fill their tag, when they is yeah, when they yeah, either fill off or move there. Other billings, apparently. So oh, 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 they just don't have accrue their yeah. 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 That's right. Very right. few, very few people can. Um, so, so that's really the expense side of the um, transfer station. Um, the revenue side, um, uh, we did our very best to uh, balance out these expenses. I'm trying to find out what page that is on. I did. I just took a quick look, and just without the personnel here, the increase in operating is about eighty percent, roughly. Okay. And that's what pretty much what. Is in line with what our increase, what I call increased disposal costs. The people that take the stuff that after we get it, they take it and take care of it for us. That's right in keeping with that, isn't it, Eric? I mean, it's close and uh, it does with the inflation we've seen. So, um, uh, page 56, yeah. No thanks. I'm not doing this with the computer, it's not quite as efficient as the paper. Okay, so um, these are we expect to increase. We did increase um, the fee schedule, um, and we saw a probably twenty percent increase for January. 
uh, I think in part because of that. Uh, so that's great. Um, I did not budget a 20% increase in overall revenues for fees because I always expect a lag. Um, it, it's kind of just that one of those things that even if we increase it by 50%, we, we usually see a 20 or 30% increase in, in what we actually bring in. Um, it's, I don't know, there's a few things that play there, but in any event, um, I we, we're doing better than I thought we would so far. Um, and we'll see if it holds true. We might be able to re revise that revenue estimate up. Um, but for right now, I'm just keeping it conservative at 5% for the, for the overall fees. Um, metal, like uh, I said, is doing very well. We continue to see um, uh, strong metal um, um, revenues coming in. So I believe that's something that's been, I won't say recession proof, but it's been um, it's it's been good the last couple of years, and I expect we can actually honestly increase that uh, up to eighteen thousand. Um, outside of that, uh, we do have an offsetting grant for the uh, fifteen hundred under seventy fifty for the um, uh, material uh, storage cabinet, and then we have the Wayne and Fayette shares, uh, which are a, a, a prorated portion mm -hmm. of. The overall expense based on uh, uh, state valuation of our total real estate. And that's that. Great. Anything else, Karen? I don't think so. I think it's pretty much covered. Any questions anyone has of us? Or yeah, I want to see you paint those lines. You came up with that good idea. You mean expanding them? Yeah. Yeah, well, we're going to have that done. Don't you worry. Sorry. That's such a good... Uh, Make it longer? No, why? No, the lines, the, the parking no, space. Yeah, a no, great idea. The, you know, the pickup trucks that come in there, they can't... They oh, sure, yeah, they yeah. can't get in there. No. One and a half space, you know? What else? Yeah, it's the Eric and I will discuss it. Maybe we've had we rolled around in the other one. Don't you wear the no new wire? Yeah. Wire and wire. We're just going to cut off the access to the metal bin. There's no room left, but we'll we'll work on it. No, it will be, you know, if you pay us five dollars, you can park right up there in the front. <laughs> How about we can make, make a special one stall that's like five feet wider than the rest of it? And then the rest of the side will really yeah. yeah. see. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Thanks for spending some time tonight to listen to me and do good things with transportation, folks. Remember us, give us lots of money. Reduce, reuse, reduce. You got it. Thanks. Here you are. Sit around with wearing all the time. Paper clips too. Yes, I'm from library. Yes, the library. And that's where you see. What's the weed? Oh, there's a few things. Yeah. Um. So we have um, animal control care. So let's go back to community services and we can go back to what? Community yeah. services department 25. Sorry, right. Yeah, page 10. Okay. Page 10. Correct. Most of this, I mean, the most interesting stuff is already passed at this point. I mean, so we'll animal control. All right. So That's that. the llama man. The llama guy, yeah. 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 Um, so we do have some changes there. Um, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Eric, the llama guy. Yeah. He's our Asia. Right. Oh, okay. Size charge. Mama's eggs. <laughs> So uh, we do um, have uh, intermittent availability with our ACO, so we have to have a backup ACO. So the 1200 you see there for wages is, is wages, actual wages for a backup ACO. Wait a minute. Under person. 2060. Right, you're, you're increasing the stipend for the ACO. We are also. Um, but the ACO isn't yeah, uh, it's, consistently available? Yes. But that, um, that's. They want the fence there. Uh, Politics? No. Can I that, Teresa? Is that enough? <laughs> it went 10% above board for every for everybody. Yep. period. 
whether they were performing the job to the level of service that we thought we needed in the month. Ah. Um, and it is a stipend position, and it is hard. You do have to show up and deal with animal PCs at god awful hours in the morning and things Unless like that. You don't. Unless you don't. Um, yeah, so this one's, um, it's not where I'd like it to be, but without making some changes to how the position functions, uh, it, it, uh, it meets the need. And we did have that as an end of the duties as assigned for an employee a few years back. And I know that wasn't perfect either. That wasn't, and that did cost us a lot in overtime, probably more yeah. than the 1200 we're looking mm -hmm. at right now. So I, yeah, um, it, it, this has been a mess for a long time and I'm still not sure how to fix it. Um, I'll just put it that way. So really the increase is going from 3000 to 4,500. It's really a 50% increase for animal control. Uh, yeah, that's, that's how to look at it. Yep. 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 At least we don't have cows in the road at the moment. At the moment. Yeah. It all depends what right. day you, you check out, too. Because if you look at 20 and 21, if you look at wage line compared to what he has proposed. Yeah. You know, it's still, it's reduced, but it's not reduced as what. Well, this year is. Yeah. So yeah, you look back to 20, 2020, 2021, you know, we're not I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, because we were did have to accommodate with all those other pieces um and that mix of services. But like I said, I don't I don't like it, but um we're stuck right now. We're stuck right now, but yeah. Uh so um let's see, cell phone. Uh this one I, I am um Working with uh, Mount Vernon to get half of that covered by the town of Mount Vernon because they paid us. what's up? They did pay. They did good for them. All right. Um, yeah. So uh, we can we can look at some offsetting revenue for that. I'll make a note. I don't believe that's in here yet. So forty ten for ACO. Revenue offset. So did they pay half the site? No, this was a cluster. <laughs> Uh, they they just he he also works for them, uh, and they just put the town of Reedfield's cell phone number on their website. Uh -huh. He swears he had nothing to do with it. Uh -huh. But I called up the like, the chair of the board, and I was like, "You guys are paying for half of this, or you're taking it off your website?" And they said, "We'll, we'll pay for half." So anyway, that's. Um, and that might be something we look at long term is actually doing a proper sharing of the position with another town, and that might re result in some efficiency or inefficiency, but I think it could result in some efficiency um, because we would have someone that might be available a little bit more and maybe pay them yeah, um, accordingly, but not double, which is what we're planning right now. Um, let's see. So uh, can it connect Valley Humane Society? Uh, this uh, is flat. I don't know if that's going to hold. Um, we usually get their actuals uh, in time for um, the budget, but uh, I think we have some capacity here because they've only done a gradual increase over the past couple of years. I don't know if that's going to be the case this year or if we'll see a 10% increase that puts it over, but um, not terribly concerned either way. Um, it's a small, small dollar in, in, in the end. Uh, and that's that's a clinic. Is that Pete and Anna? That's Pete and Anna. <laughs> and Eric, okay, not me, the other. Right. But I did get it out of the town office. <laughs> that, that was one of my accomplishments. Right, right, the, right. So we've been to come in on Pee Friday on, morning. It's not be on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> now they're doing us. Yeah. 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 Much better. Much better. <laughs> Much better. Much better. Uh, well, right. We moved it because it's. <laughs> we put it in with the conservation commission because this is not actually something that it's something that they requested and is a donation, not a community, not a. Um, Regional, yeah. yeah, not a membership. Not a membership. Not a membership. Right. 
it's a donation. So it got moved to the um, conservation budget because it's a conservation donation. Mm -hmm. And it is the same amount in that line. Okay. KB Cog uh, is, is flat. Um, this one, we, we do have a little bit of capacity. So if they increase, I believe what they were looking at, um, it hasn't been finalized yet, was something like 5% increase. Um, so I need to do the math on that and make sure it'll account. Um, we did over budget a little bit this year. Yeah, I think 5% would be covered under that. No, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. Mm -hmm. It'd be a little, little under. So I'll, 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 make a, I'll make an adjustment based on actuals for that 45, 30. Yeah. Or actuals. 45, 30. Yeah. And then that's another one that they get us the numbers before the budget process is over, so we can put it to be realistic. Um, all right. Um, age friendly, we'll keep them that flat. Um, they're also doing more uh, when it comes to community service type activities, but they're very good about um, finding offsetting revenues or getting donations. And um, I, they're not actively pursuing grants at this point, so I'm not super worried about that either. I think we'll be okay. Um, but they do have a big project coming up in March with their refield new. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to, I think, accrue some expenses. Um, so we'll have to, um, we'll see some changes in the next couple months on that. Uh, but I wouldn't want to give them anything less because they, they have done quite a bit with the little money they get. We did library and uh, public access TV. So uh, wages also, um, uh, we did increase that. And Teresa, what was the reason for that? Do you remember? Wages. Wages. We went from 1,000 to 1,650. And I think that. Because isn't he supposed to be retiring, having somebody else come on? That's right. Yeah. Um, I'm just not sure how I came up with that number, 1,650, um, or how he did. Um, I'll look at that one, 2064. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. <clears throat> All right. Um, right. Um, so yeah, and, and uh, the the stipend for the administrator for Bill Sarah went up ten ten percent. That's ten percent. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's it. Yeah. Streetlights, uh, we are, uh, any, any, sorry, any questions on the uh, television station? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Streetlights, we're, we're able to reduce that because we have converted uh, about everything that I think we should convert to LED. Um, the board slipper was on a kick to add more LED lights, and I'm trying to slow their roll on that. I don't, I don't think we need more. Um, we've hit most of the key safety areas, I think all of them. Um, uh, and having all those converted has saved a lot of money. Uh, and as long as we're not buying new ones at a cost of a thousand or fifteen hundred a pop, um, we're able to, to lower that budget. And that's my expectation. We've had over the last two or three years um, revenue uh, expense lines to add like three to five lights every year. Like I said, I think we're done with that program. Unless we're adding new lights. New lights. Yeah, I think we're done with that for now. At least I'd like to be. So increasing um, the to total number. Increasing the total number of lights. The fact that the LED saves a huge amount of money. The fact that yeah. CNP is not building this for them saves a ton of money. Um, so that's that's why we're able to see this big reduction here. Because we're just paying for electricity, not for new lights. Okay. Like we like darkness. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it. John Moss likes it because we have darkness. <laughs> yeah. um, and we, um, I want to point out 2570, which is broadband. 
We did have yeah. zero, but um, but right now the select board is looking at. Um, we might change this to maybe something not broadband, but maybe um, community um, connectivity or something. So, you mean you're gonna give it a different name? <laughs> well, so here's why. Um, still the name scum or what? It's a different scum. Uh, scum. We're, we're trying to describe. Well, um, you know, you're, you're very close. You're in the hot list. Well, we're having to look at negotiating with Stack. Yeah. Because I've been stuck there for many years. So we're, we're, we're addressing Scott's that. We're looking at negotiating contract and the spectrum for the franchise agreement for cable TV to help fill the gaps in coverage in the community. And that's probably going to cost us money for legal fees. It could go under legal fees, but I think in all clarity, fairness, it yeah. belongs either in the public access line or maybe in something like the broadband line with a different name, because it really is about... Oh, well, then I would add to a legal fees line to this. I oh, wouldn't legal. call oh. broadband. Well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Public access. Yeah. Public access. Getting everybody covered yeah. or available. Well, I mean, it's not going to be... Thousands of dollars. <laughs> it could be, it be five to ten. All right. It's not going to be fifty. It's not going to be. No. But legal fees. Is yeah. So I like Yeah. I like that. Putting it under contract review. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll look at. It's not call it broadband because it's yeah. really not. It's not. It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's hardwired. The unfolds that doesn't happen. Legal review. <laughs> Of a contract, it sounds like. So, so would you I, add it to legal services, or do you think it should be under public access? Then add legal services. Okay, all right. Well, um, we'll we'll look at we'll look at that. I'll talk to the I'll talk to the select board. I'm not even sure that they're gonna move forward with this. They they did put in two thousand or three thousand to start the process um, out of contingency this last Monday, um, because it's a part of this idea of. Finding a solution to a, 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 a bad situation um, where people don't have coverage or have insufficient amount of wanting to move beyond that as a community, even if it means working with spectrum. Um, so that, that is, that's more of a heads up of that there's a there's a in my mind anyway, a, a, an added expense that, that will show up someplace if the board moves forward with it. Um, yeah. Um, where does that leave us? Uh, the dam. The dam. That's the dam. 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 That's oh, that fifty dollars might not be enough, but I about twenty percent. That's probably about what what CNP is going to be picking away with this year. Um, and that's that for community services. Right. So, and do we look at power sites or is that not? Um, I'm assuming that they're protected. And I know increases there right now. No, although Teresa and I have been working on we need to try to do better with that. We're not making progress, are we, Teresa? No, okay. I did not make progress. Um, there is a situation <laughs> there. It's small dollars, but um, it looks like on, on an annual basis, we're not. We're, we're, Expanding much more on repairs and maintenance and new equipment than we're collecting from our partners who contribute to that. Fund. So, but it's small dollars, it's probably 3000 a year that we're, and this gets absorbed by the rest of the fire department budget. But okay. we're trying to get Lee to do more with that for billing. Um, I think he sees it as a public service or something. I don't know. But. Yeah, they should call it up. Living at cemetery. Andy. Yeah. <laughs> Parks, and, not, Parks and Rec is another day, right? Yeah, well, we've already done that one. Yeah, I know. It was another day. Uh, yeah. Page 23. Not getting there. Huh? <laughs> we had no doubt. Okay. So, um, what, what page are we on? 20, 23. 23. 23. It was uh, the cemetery committee. Is feeling fiscally conservative and um, has chosen to fund more of its budget out of 
restricted funds and carry over and ask the taxpayers for less. Um, and also, I think, reduce the overall size of the budget by not taking on any new big projects. Now, that could all go sideways if we have something that like... That damn wall. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that, exactly. That, that damn yeah. wall is going to... your yeah. nemesis. Yeah. I, I, I go out and look at it and say it's... Leaning more. Here lies the spell. I gotta leave the board before it falls down. <laughs> this grave is gonna say, "Damn, yeah, damn." <laughs> well, we have some grave stones that are issues too, but that's no. For no, that's that's not a budget item. I won't go there. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, we're looking at. Um, continuing the level of service that we have and funding it um, as frugally as we can manage. The only thing that is an exception to that, and I think it's because of the capital thing of buying a chipper, which will actually save money and time in the long run, but um, it is you know a big chunk to fight off at the beginning. But so is this wooden brush removal Different from the grounds, the two grand in the ground. I mean, yeah, the in... brush removal is actually arborist services. Okay. You know, we 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 have these beautiful old trees that are always threatening to fall onto the stones, and we try to save as many of them as we can. And when we have to cut one down, we try to plant new ones so that somebody else will have that problem in fifty years. And so this other two grade is the chipper. Your half is yeah. the chipper. No, they well, take the second the second second. Second. the other two thousand. No, the other something else. So this is four thousand dollars for brands here. Right, it's a double. It's a double. Okay, right. fine. And I'm trying to remember why. Yeah, I have, I have the cemetery committee trained to look at a budget a different way than because they don't understand this and don't want to learn. <laughs> You uh, and every other department. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another fight we're losing. Yeah. So, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Except with the library. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, um, two and four. Yeah. And I'm. Trying to remember. This is this cheat that you sent. Thank you. Maybe that one. Yeah. A funny story while I'm looking at that. Um, the, the maintenance staff, they have one guy in town um, who every time he sees them in the cemetery working, he flips them off uh, because he doesn't, he thinks that they cut down too many trees. So he sent an email um, to me complaining about tree cutting and, and, and then he complained to one of them on the side of the road at one point and said, you guys are destroying the image and whatever. And now every time he drives by, he gives them the burn on the, on the way by. Oh my God. <laughs> And I was like, hey guys, welcome to my world. Yeah, but yeah, the things they do. I've not seen something that adds up to 4,000. That's the one I'm with covering me. The grounds? Yeah. I think we might have to add a few pieces together to make it. So that it all worked out the way yeah. it was supposed to with our lines, but um, well, maybe you can figure it out. What's a living fence? Well, I've got 70, 40, and 2,000. Plants. You know, oh, plants. What computing. The money was donated, wasn't it? It was early, uh, yeah, it was donated. So, a uh, living fence was the, the lilacs, basically. Mm -hmm. um, they were planted by um, um, the well, the cemetery by the Jesse Lee Church. Um, did it work? Our, the bo our bottom lines match. <laughs> did, did it create a, a, a barrier? Uh, it yeah. slowly is filling in. Slowly? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it's, you know, you have to give them room to grow and then. Right, so exactly. So it, so it actually becomes a barrier. It's, oh, no, it's, it's going to be pretty. Oh, okay. It's, yeah. it's the tree it's still plus the stone wall. wall. Yeah, it's four thousand. Yeah, friends that run the cemetery, the two together. We had to go down all summer and water the trees. Trees plus living fence. Some <laughs> incremental <laughs> work to keep the ball from falling down. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
cemetery trees, plants, and supplies is 2000, and then stone wall repair repointing is 2000. So that's where that path was going. Because yeah. 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 we didn't do any stone wall work last year mm -hmm. or a couple of, for a couple of years. <clears throat> we were hoping that it would just sit there. But it's, it's it does, but it, yeah. thank you. You're welcome. I mean, I have several of those. I just don't. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Wow. What's next? Where are you, Ellen? Where are you, Ellen? Where are you, Ellen? Where are you, Ellen? So cemetery does have some offsetting, as Andy said, uh, right. revenues from the, their reserves and from the um, perpetual care funds. So they have two sources coming in to help offset. Okay. Yeah, I kind of said that should care for a second. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, that'll be yeah. community gardens. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they are talking about <laughs> yeah, we all know. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so unclassified abatements, is that what we're looking at? Yes. Yeah. So abatements is the um, um, abatements and overlay. And that's the same. Get to it. So why is it that you chose this 6.14? Is that just based on year to day experience or what do you, what do you, because oh. you actually put the actual in after you do the commitment? So it's not really an increase. It we always put the twenty five in at this point in the budget. But we have to change the budget to equal. To equal when we right. do the tax commitment. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we did the same. We just look different. Um, uh, local tax relief. This one um, we we allocated ten thousand. Uh, this is another one that we need to do more advertising on because people just aren't taking advantage of it. Um, that being said, we have the fewest number of delinquencies we've had in aggregate um, in, in a, quite a while this year um, because people are paying ahead. Um, but we have the same five people. It, no matter what we do, we have the same five people. Um, and their taxes are due this Friday, and we're going to have to wait until... Two o'clock, so, three o'clock on Friday before they come in and pay. It's still like, five, Angel. It's still five. So they always wait till the eleventh hour and then they pay. Yeah, well, and some of them wait until we foreclose and then they pay in the thirty day period, and it's just it's a it's a constant. Um, but but anyway, uh, we we allocate money so that people can have less of a tax burden. It is tied directly to the state, formerly the circuit breaker program, but it's a it's a means test. Um, but we, we've had very few people take advantage of it, so we need to advertise that one there. Wow. I don't know. Mean, they still listening. Yep. Um, although um, uh, uh, there was some discussion again, just like we're meeting on Monday, about lowering that, but um, I think that it's reasonable to keep it at that level because it part of the reason we have that is so that we can tell other people you don't have to worry about building in contingencies into your individual budgets because we have it for uh, at the select board level for you to use. So I, I think that's a reasonable level. I don't know what the rest of the, you know, what, what you guys all think about it, but um, yeah, anyway, I, I wouldn't want to lower it. Well, yeah, the yeah that's about pass through, correct. So, the regional enterprise we mm -hmm. never spend it on. Oh, yeah. We yeah, have. Yeah, we do. Well, why yeah. isn't it generally enough? There's actual. Why are there we no actuals? Have, we always have 10,000. Yeah. There's no actual expenditures showing. That's one for true research. Yeah. I think we, we, we get the tax. We get the tax. We get the tax. We get the tax. So, is that reason? That's the number we have. We can pay the tax. We got it today. Yep. Yeah. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Ellen just asked this question about with the enterprise fund, um, um, why we're not showing 
I'm guessing there's an audit adjustment, but why we're not showing the expenses for the loans that are given out on every one about one a year, whatever that equals. Um, because we haven't given any since 2021. I guess. I thought we gave one in 2022. Or maybe it was 2021. So both that guy would be. The and, con game. Wow, that and, and, that that, and the Unimean have to do 2021. Holy smokes. Okay. Uh, well, I'm uh, live. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> great. So <laughs> much. Yeah. Well, that answers that. Thanks for using And everybody's paying us. Yes. Good. Um, and revaluation is a placeholder. I'm waiting on a final estimate from our assessor, but it looks like that number is going to be increased to around 25,000 because we'll be starting a four year cycle of doing a quarter of the town every year for four years to do that full, not a full revaluation, but a full assessment and inventory. And uh, because what I've been told is our accounts are in decent shape. This would be a, a way to go in and really finish polishing them up, um, correct a few errors. Um, one thing that I didn't realize that we, we need to look at is the fact that we don't have vacant land with well and septic valued differently than vacant land without well and septic. And that's a big, that's huge. That's a yeah. huge thing. That's huge. So, okay. huh. so mm -hmm. it's stuff like that that's kind of systemic that we need to look at, but also they would go to every property and do the review. One of the things that's been beneficial um, over the past you know, decade is as, as online realtor stuff has gotten so much more common, is we can look at every single sale in this town unless it's a private or you know, um, not arm's length sale. Um, and see exactly what changes have happened and kind of work backwards from that. Um, not chasing the sales, but assessing well, the gives condition. You, yeah, it gives you an indicator. Yeah, yeah. So um wait, so why the, did you why are you crazy? Why do we increase it to you don't have it just because you just have an idea? Because I had no idea because the four thousand was for um okay. some extra services that were supposed to be provided this year and next in I guess in advance of the bigger that was the GIS uh, was it the GIS? No, I'm not sure that was that but I'll I'll look at what that four thousand was budget for last year. Um I'm not recalling right now but we obviously spent some of it. Um I'll, I'll check on that on 5010 for assessing. Uh, but anyway, the long story on that one, short story is that we're starting that quarterly reval. It'll be around 25000 for the next four years to get that done. Wait, 25000 a year for the next For four year? years. Yeah, so 100000 total. 25000 um And then David Liu is going to retire, and we're going to figure out what we're going to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you happy or sad? I'm glad. He does a great job. Yeah, I know he does. Um, it's gonna and it's gonna cost us a lot more to get somebody else in, I think, yeah. um, than what we've been paying so far because he likes working with us because we have good records um, and we're easy. But um, we're gonna we're gonna have a hard time, I think, moving forward after that four year um, period. When you so, think about it, you came right from the state. Oh yeah, no, he, yep. he knows the laws. Yep. No doubt about it. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be fun. Yep. Mm -hmm. So are we using anything of the reserve, the offs? Absolutely. Yes. As soon as as soon as um I know what that number is, we'll see a, a, a offsetting revenue expense in, in this line. I'm gonna bug them again on Friday. <laughs> you know Teresa, I've been after him, but yes, you have. <laughs> and he was looking for you Friday. Oh good, so. okay. Yep. <laughs> That's good. Yes, good. Yeah. <laughs> And I think that's that for now. <laughs> so our next meeting is yeah, what's the next one? Well, we're getting close to having to do workshops. Um it's let's see. Two weeks of them. I looked at my pen. Starting one. Not March one. I don't have anything for March one. March one is in two weeks. Uh, oh, March 8th, I have on a schedule. 
Yeah, the one that's one I have in March 8th. I've got March 8th, which is just a, a comprehensive draft budget review. Right. 3 a.m. Yeah. yeah. I'm on that. 6 30 p.m. Yeah. Will you be in Kauai or on your way there? No, I'll be in band already. Oh. I'd rather be in rehearsal. Uh, I'm supposed to be in rehearsal tonight, too. Uh oh. What are you working on, Andy? Guys and Dolls. Oh, oh that's fine. Nice. Nice. Yeah, they're actually practicing one of my songs tonight, but I'll just have to learn it on my own. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that going to be? Sing the show. Mama comes from home. End of April. Why? Oh, it is a fun show. Mm -hmm. I have um, stage management, but I've wanted to be on stage for 20 yeah. years now. So I finally tell me he's doing this. So I, I did give a, a full budget, just as a way of information, I did give a full budget summary to the select board uh, on Monday, um, as we heard. I think it was interesting. Um, I think that what bottom line is right now, uh, we're budgeting for big increases in a few areas. Um, the, the part of the town budget that we can control uh, is looking like it's a one or two percent increase. Um, but we're also being faced with a, a, an eight percent projected increase on the county side, a ten percent projected increase on the school side, and then we have the fire truck, which is going to be a little bit more impactful, and that'll um, have a big deal. But um, if you back out those things, um, we're actually not looking too bad, considering where we are with the rest of the economy and inflation and all that. Right. So um, I think we're using our reserves intelligently um, to soften the impact. We're definitely going to have to get there at some point uh, and, and pay that full price, but the reserves are being used to soften the impact over the next two or three years. And um, as it stands, we're looking at a 6 to 7% increase all totally all together. Um, with most of that, like I said, we can things that are beyond our control. Yeah, well, that's the part that's, that's sort of, you know, and, and when you say 30 some odd years old, and well, it's, it's what else are old they are. They're, they're old. The, the, one thing I'm not sure is entirely clear. This, this is an increase in capacity. We're, we're replacing yeah, the truck that's no. limited. We're setting the one down and then yeah. adding one to the fleet. But yeah. we're not building a bigger firehouse for that. We're not we already did that. Yeah. I know, but. He does. He's got plenty of room, unfortunately. <laughs> So we have to until they get the full, we'll have to watch out. Well, what would be the objective if you get rid of the brush truck that he's or whatever? That I don't think well, they get rid of anything. Well, so, so no, I don't think that's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> what, what if, if we were doing an in kind type of replacement, we would replace a two hundred thousand dollar truck with it, or, or we would replace the old truck with a two hundred, two hundred fifty thousand dollar truck instead of a six hundred fifty thousand dollar truck. That would be like an in kind. Level of service replacement. What he, what we're actually doing is increasing our level of service in this rotation, and that's that's what I wanted to kind of bring out and highlight. I'm not opposed to it. I just think it needs to be clear. That's all. Yeah. But, Wait. Uh, so we're not increasing the complement of trucks. We are. Okay. So which is the truck that you would get rid of? If, logically. If you when this new truck came, if you were not increasing the top of it. it, it would be the the one that's that's the bad fit. The one that he said that carries two hundred fifty gallons of water but doesn't um, <laughs> go anywhere. I think that's the one. Um, but again, we we had to go around and around on this because it's <laughs> yeah. Um, well, the brush truck, truck is the F five fifty. Yeah, so so it is the mini. So if we replace something like that in kind, we would be a lot. It'd be a lot. Cost a lot less. But I I understand the desire to increase capacity. Wow, and if it lasts fifty years, forty years, is it because we don't have fire hydrants? We 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 have some, but we don't have. I, I yeah. These are questions for me. Well, he he indicated that he gave him forty five. Most we don't. Forty five million dollars. Yeah. But uh, I guess if I, but I don't, I mean, I don't see what we might have to apply. We, we haven't had that Yeah. So we need a bigger truck. The highest classic thing. Right. Yeah. 
I think part of his concern is that mutual aid is struggling more than we are, um, and that we can't necessarily rely on other tank tank trucks or pumper tankers coming from other towns in. And so he wants to have that capacity in house. There's two ways to address that: either try to strengthen the system that we're in, or buy more equipment. And I think well, that we can't control the system we're in, really. Not really, unless we regionalize more. Right, and that's not going to happen that's before not we happen. get it. Oh. <laughs> right? I, I, yeah. Well, I mean, just being realistic. Yeah. I, in any event, I guess I'm not opposed to it. I just want people to know and the that town of, that we're having an increased the, capacity. And the citizenry never opposes it. They don't. The only thing they didn't let him have was the fire. The station, the brand new one, or the when it was the first time, the first, the yeah. first one. which I wish they had is an island ahead of you. Yeah, right. I think that, that we didn't budge them off three years in a row. Sorry, not the usual. We're gonna sign this tomorrow. We're gonna have to get to the business. Uh, yeah, because yeah, exactly. there have been uh, public still where the state of Maine is, isn't really um, okay with grandfathering anymore uh, for public facilities. They basically say, any facility. Yeah, yeah. So they're, they're, they're not going to get an ice And I don't think they understand that you have sprinklers in an ice house to spring water and ice. Anybody who's out there is going to die <laughs> because they can't get out. They have the sprinklers for the, for the ice cream? Uh, this is for the curling club and the oh. house. Oh, oh. Yeah. Wow. For real. And it costs a hundred thousand dollars, and that's an all on Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got a spring a little bit of it. Officially during the 30. Yeah, so we know this. Well, it was like a place or a period of all, like, curved into the time. And it was during the pandemic thing. So it was like four or five days before everybody got in there and everybody. Oh. And um, so we had to raise a million for that. And now we have to do, but there's no water. So we could put in a uh, underground yep. lake person. We're gonna to have to do the same thing at the fire station, either either a large tank in a tower or something underground. It's just so expensive. Oh yeah, no, it's gonna be a large tank is not gonna look nice. I, I I think we're probably gonna be a little bit short on money, but that's just between you and me. So <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, so we could have some a new structure. Well, we'll, we'll no more of this thing, the tallest thing in the region. We can put a cell thing on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a digital uh, sign. Oh, God. Let's start with that. I'm still getting flagged about that one. <laughs> I bet you are. Uh, Night, all. Hey. Night. Night. Yeah, bye.